This time another big shot for LBW, and it's a better one. And a long, long decision before umpire Mr. Mitchley raised his fingers. He had a really good think about that. And Simmons for the second time in this series out LBW. And he's not amused, as he was also unhappy in Port Elizabeth. Well, it came back be... just enough, I think, to maybe have slipped away down the leg side. Though. Yeah, I think he would be a, a little unlucky there, Phil Simmons. Uh, he looked for... didn't look too adjacent. But the scorecard will show LBW to Wakar Eunice, and this is how he went. It hit just on the roll on the outside of the left leg and look how he's watching the umpire who still has not made a decision and then suddenly up comes the fingers down goes the head i can't believe it and something worse than I that i don't think he might <laughs> say that well the new batsman uh, not richie richardson which is what went up on the board but brian lara who came to the wicket and got lost amongst the boys having drinks He's the man of the wicket. One of the most exciting young players in the world, facing up to Waka Yunus. And he's out, first ball. A lifter that he didn't get right behind, and it came down off the bat and onto the stumps, and Brian Lara out, first ball. And Waka Yunus on a hat-trick. Played on by Brian Lara, and Pakistan jubilant picking up another wicket so two wickets in successive balls just playing a little too far away from his body and finding the inside edge and coming down onto the stumps and Brian Lara who's been in tremendous form for the West Indies in Australia out first ball I think it, it says something that you can be at the highest point in your career in any sport, but you will often know the agony of despair. That's the great game of cricket, such a leveller. And so, suddenly, hope for the Pakistanis, defending that low target of 150 